This is Twit. PyPI is the Python package index, which is uh, it's a repository for Python software. Um, sure. So PyPI is the index, and tools like pip pip is a glorified installer and downloader. So it talks to PyPI, uh, finds the package that you're trying to install, uh, gets it, brings it down to your local system, and and does everything necessary to make it available to you. So is this like the most important uh, repository for Python? Uh, it is, and it's it's kind of the canonical, uh, the the only repository. And it's possible to run mirrors. There are a couple of mirrors that exist, but um, PyPI is the sort of de facto place to put Python software. Is it set up the same way as the CPAN, where there's actually hundreds of mirrors around the world, and you have to select one or the closest one? No, it's actually pretty central. Well, so it depends on how you think about this. Uh, technically, okay. it's pretty centralized. There's one PyPI. Uh, and you know it resolves to a single index, but uh, we use a CDN. So technically, you're hitting mirrors all around the world that are closest to you every time you use PyPI. But uh, it, yeah, it, it, it's a, it's very centralized. It's unlike CPAN in that way. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, well, of course, CPAN was created long before there were CDNs, so we really didn't have much of a choice. Um, so how did this get started? Uh, so PyPI first started as a, a literally an index. So it would uh, link to files hosted externally. So if you wanted uh, to publish your Python software, you would uh, go and, and put your you know distribution or whatever you have uh, in some place on your machine or, or wherever on the internet you can put it. And then you'd send a link to PyPI and, and it would exist there. And it existed like that for a little while. And then uh, slowly like that became pretty untenable. So it became... Uh, actual like repository for source code. It would host the source code itself. Uh, and I, my timeline is a little rusty, so I'm relatively new to the project. PyPI has been around for like 15 years now. And wow. uh, I joined the project about two years ago. So sort of towards the point where PyPI uh, existed, was really well depended on by a lot of the Python community. It was the place that people would go to install software. But um, before this launched, 